This small town in the Rift Valley, with its breathtaking scenery and high altitude, is a renowned athletics hub. Here you'll find athletes known for middle and long distance running. Many have won numerous awards and gold medals. Yet as the runners continue to break records, dozens of them are being suspended from competition because of doping. Kenyan Mark Kangogo was a rising star until recently. He competed in the mountains of Switzerland and won one of the season's toughest trail events. His tests showed the presence of two prohibited substances in his system. He was banned for three years and stripped off his title. So, I did not know those pills would bring me stress. I used them to deal with a knee injury. I admitted to taking the drugs unknowingly. Kenya has been dealing with the rising use of performance-enhancing drugs for years. As of the end of November, 55 Kenyan athletes were banned and eight provisionally suspended, according to the Athletics Integrity Unit. Recently, World Athletics President Sebastian Coe praised Kenya's efforts to tackle the problem. Government has already committed $5 million a year for the next five years. That is 25 million US dollars. And that money will support that all-out war against doping. Wilson Kipsang, a former world marathon record holder, is finishing his four-year ban after he missed mandatory doping tests. He says he's helping to educate other athletes about the problem. You have to be very strict on what goes into your mouth. That anything that goes into your mouth, it's the responsibility of the athlete. So there's that kind of ignorance for athletes. One of the most misused drugs is prescribed for anemic patients. It's a job that increases the number of red blood cells which carry oxygen to the muscles. Drugs like this one are easily available in chemists here. All you need is cash and a good pharmacist. People we've talked to say it's a lucrative business. Some of the athletes like Kangogo, who are under suspension, say they just want to keep their heads low, continue training, wait out their ban, and hope they can compete again. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, in the Rift Valley.